you guys can see. Guys, you can clearly see that is steaming hot water. Oh, that was good. All right guys, as you can tell, the uh, weather changed on us. We got some snow. It was a really good weather at the beginning of this video. So we'll do, we could probably cut this in half but, and then have the pipe come up. Not a bad little project. Yeah, um, it's just something that we found earlier. Um, and then this has been something too, like as we're trying to make a fire, just all the wood is still like wet. Yeah. So this is something to kind of try and dry it out a little bit using what we have. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so on Off the Clock and uh, Jared's channel, uh, showing some of the stuff that we went and got, we found a little pile of stuff that was out here, different mm -hmm. metal stuff. and. Uh, 
everything was free. So these pipes we found um, before out by the uh, little bridge area, and then we found this. Um, as you guys could tell, uh, we just repurposed it. Yeah. Um, this was your, this is your thing. It was my idea. I mean, I'm definitely one to upcycle, make use of what you got. Yeah, that's how she. That's how she saw me whenever we first started dating. Make use with what Where? you got. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's not that good, but maybe we can make him better. <laughs> So as you saw, I started clearing this out. There was a tree there, so I'm gonna have to get the uh, chainsaw and bust that uh, stump out. But this is where we're going to build a uh, storage shelter for all of our uh, stuff, the tractor, and then the uh, four-wheeler. We're gonna have the side-by-side, -side, maybe even the Jeep, dirt bikes, stuff like that. So we're gonna build a structure right here, more of just like a, a roof, and then maybe sides and stuff later but I think it'll uh, really help. So we might line them up, see what it looks like, and then get an idea how long we need it to be. foot from the bucket to the end of the tractor is 13 all right guys as you can tell the uh, weather changed on us we got some snow it was a really good weather at the beginning of this video then it did snow it got cold so we were trying to plan for it um, this cold snap hopefully it's the last one but we don't know so we got the uh, wood storage thing built up and now we're gonna work on a big wood burning stove for the inside of the shop so we can stay warm all right so we found this barrel out in this pile where we found a bunch of metal stuff you guys probably saw it on off the clock saw it on Jared's video and uh, this one's actually in really good shape it's a little rusty but it's got this hole which will be perfect for what we need and then this one we can uh, plug up but as you can see behind us we have that little chimney over there that Jared's getting wood out of. It works decent, but it gets smoke everywhere. So we're gonna try to turn this into a wood burning stove, and I think we could do it. Should be good. I can get a little thing, weld this shut, and then uh, we'll have it. We'll have to try to figure out how to cut it to where it'll uh, vent out the window or whatever. And then I'll cut off little pieces and make legs. And that's basically it. It's gonna be super easy, and it should get super hot. Thank <laughs> you. 
probably 18 inches. Let's do a barrel back. earlier and <clears throat> was gonna look at underwear. $22 for a pack of six. I said, screw that, I'm just gonna go free ball. Test this thing out for the first time. The wood's not dry, so we could probably get it to light up. So as you guys could see, we built a little wood burning stove. Jared's gonna light it up right now. It is not perfect, but I think if we can get enough heat uh, from right here from it, it was worth building. It was 100% free. We found the barrel. Hopefully there's nothing in there that's super flammable or anything. But uh, we found that barrel out there for free, we got the pipe for free, and all it took was time to weld. So if this gives us some heat in here, whew, big plus. This little stove is putting off a lot of heat. We're putting some lumber in there so it's popping, but whew, it's gonna be warm. So I said I wasn't gonna show this room, until it's finished, but we're gonna go ahead and show you some of it. Uh, it's definitely not completely uh, done, but uh, we do have a loft up here. Uh, I have a mattress that I need to cut open and it came like shrink wrapped, I guess, uh, airtight, vacuum sealed. And uh, I'm gonna put it up there because tomorrow we're gonna be spending the night and we're gonna stay out here for a few days. But I got the stove going, as you guys can see, the uh, fan is moving. It's so much warmer in here than it is at my tent. Yeah, it's just so much warmer than his tent. <laughs> it's full of shit. Um, but I had the uh, pipe up there running good and to here. And then I got this sealer stuff that I put on the pipe to make sure it wouldn't leak uh, smoke into the room. It is a little smoky. We're burning trash outside and I had the door open. Um, and then right now I have the door open on here, but you can tell it is starting to go pretty good and the fans going up there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and we're gonna let this go for a little bit and then uh, let it uh, warm up a little bit. And we will be honest, we'll see how uh, warm it is in here compared out there. I did get a fire going the other day uh, before it was completely done and it warmed up pretty fast. So. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, Danielle and I could sleep up top. Jared could sleep down here if it gets cold enough, but he don't want to. I'm a man. I sleep in a tent. Yeah, so guys, please, please, please quit commenting, thinking. They won't allow me in here. I'm yeah. freezing every night, and they just say, you're not allowed in that room. Guys, he's fine. <laughs> All right, so another thing that we're prepping for out here is a shower. I so need one. Jared needs one bad, and uh, with Danielle and I staying out, all three of us, 
we need showers. So um, I got this hot tap. I've had one before and it's awesome. I made the mistake and I left it outside uh, during the uh, cold, cold times and it started to leak. So we might potentially have another one that'll work. And Bandit, maybe you can get a bath too. So we're gonna open this up, put it together. It's extremely easy. And hopefully maybe Jared can wash his hair today because he's starting to stink. Shoot that. All right, guys, so it all comes pretty much together. Um, I've already done this once, so I'm not too worried about... Oh, this one's a little bit different. The bottom's a little different. Not too worried? So I think I'm gonna use the bottom from the other one. So the bottom that came on this one, this is like the middle ground uh, hot tap. Has these, you just hook them on the sides. This other one, that's like the full essential thing, whatever, comes with the whole thing. So I'm just gonna put it on this. And then right here in the bottom, just pull these little things off. How hot does that thing get? I think 120 something. That's not bad. The house, it was 140, that little pump. So then we'll get this, we'll hook it on the red. And it's these quick releases that are super easy to, to do. Then it comes with the uh, gas right here with a quick connect. Uh, or beaters, propane does that uh, can that hook up to a small little green tank? Um, you know, what I'm talking about the little ones from Walmart. You might need an adapter. This is for the uh, one. big one, so that's that. And then this is for your water source. And then right here, you put uh, your double A batteries double A or uh, D, A. whatever they are, tank like this. Pop that in, We're good. Take the plastic off. All right, so this one didn't come with the blue hose. I'm a little surprised. That's that's why I'm kind of glad I got the uh, other one. So I'm gonna get that with the pump. So this kit, um, I don't remember exactly which one. The essentials, is that what it says? The essentials and the other one is like the big one. And that's what the company actually sent me. Um, this one I actually bought myself because I liked it so much. So this says a lot. So this pump will suck water up with this little filter, which is awesome. So, we need the hose. I guess I took it off over there. Well, where are we gonna get some water from? Just creek water? Probably your butt. Shoot, guys. The thing I like about this one is that you just stick it on here and then it should fit. If I get these hoses correctly, like that. All right, so I'm gonna try to run through this as quickly as I can. Uh, it's got the uh, filter on the end. You stick it in a bucket of water. We barely have any water in here, so we'll show you how good it works. Um, just enough for it to go in there. I don't even know if you see that. We have this, it runs to this pump, which is powered by that battery bank. It's got propane that goes to it. And then you have different settings right here. And I'm gonna do it all the way with uh, the water coming out. And then I'm gonna turn the heat down. And yes, Jared has Brothers Valley soaps. All right, guys, I'm out of breath. Uh, we went and filled this up with water from the uh, creek down there. It's ice cold. It's from the snow melting. All right, again, the power bank is powering the pump that's going into here with the filter. We got the propane, and once you turn that on, it should turn the whole system on. And then you have to, and then you have to adjust how much water you want coming out and how much heat. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's warming up. Ooh, 111, 12, 113. Damn, that's hot. Guys, you can clearly see that is steaming hot water. All right, guys, he's gonna wash his face because he's nasty. Got this bad Brazza Valley soaps, lemon. Get this heated up. Always try to spray it back in the bucket when you're not using it, so you're not wasting it. Get my hair. That's good. Clearly, you can hang this up, make a real shower out of it. That's what we're gonna do right now. We just wanted to make sure it all worked. The pump wasn't working, and it was just an issue of some metal touching. But I'm gonna hold my hoodie back in and stick my head up. You can just get my hair.
Just like a baby, you gotta wash his hair for him. Well, normally I don't take a shower with clothes on. Damn, that's hot. I burned my scalp. It's a little warm. This ain't get hot, hot. I get some more on my hands, I can't see. Let me turn the uh, tip down. Oh, that feels good. All right. Not fully clean unless your Brazos Valley clean. That's right. So he officially got his first shower out here. Um, we will set this up inside an actual shower pan. Hey, that felt good. Everything like that. Yeah. Um, That's hot. If you guys have ever been camping or off grid or anything like that, just <laughs> washing your face and your hair. That's game changer right there. I felt so much more refreshed. It'll literally change your entire attitude. Uh, I learned that at the off-grid property. So to be able to have this set up, um, it's very temporary right now, but we're going to build a shower and stuff in there. But at least we can get a shower out here now and uh, we could be warm. We could take showers. We could, uh, I've got a place to sleep in there now. Jared's got his tent. That I'm freezing in? No, I'm just kidding. Shoot. Um, that was awesome. That Just that little bit and of course uh we're probably gonna pump water up from the creek and yeah. put it in a big barrel that way you have plenty of water and yeah it's free and i don't care if it's creek water it's it's flowing it's good well it has a filter on there and everything that way it's literally meant for putting it into a river and uh, it'll filter the water out and everything Whew, i'm ready for a good shower now so guys today's video was just kind of uh, getting ready to stay out here on a uh, more full-time basis. So the next video you'll see uh, Danielle and I will be staying out here. Jared's been staying out here. I got some cooking things on yes. my channel coming up that we bought for inside the shop too. So yeah, so we got a lot going on getting it ready and then Hopefully the next video you see some big changes for some of this stuff around here uh, as long as the weather uh, Still cooperates with us it's supposed to be from what I saw it's supposed to be in the 30s at night and then like up to 70 degrees in the daytime so it'll be good yeah so you literally saw no more no time. snow snow no snow guys it melted fast and now you can see nothing but dog turds everywhere <laughs> but um hopefully you guys enjoy this video it was just a quick little uh projects here and there and then the next one should be big as long as the weather and everything i'm excited for your next video it should be awesome um so guys we'll catch you in the next one if you haven't checked out jared's channel it's just jared crocker and then he has shoot dang uh ranch as well and then of course we have crockers off the clock and uh crockers or coffee with the crocker so coffee with the crockers and shooting ranch are just talking channels for the most part yes so uh, we'll put links down in the description you want to check that out i actually have um here jared film me real quick i have shoot dang fest shirt <laughs> if you guys are interested well you're just filming yourself no i'll film both of us but my yeah face is right in it. oh so got shoot dang fest shirts with the yurt and uh guys if you want one uh there is a link down in the description we have shoot dang fest coming up i also have an announcement too guys oh i thought you were going to show these cool shirts oh we got a link to that as well uh and the hats we do have an announcement we do have a peel box now oh yeah i forgot it is peel box 972 bristow oklahoma 74010 that's right um i tried adding it to the description on both my channels but i'm not sure it's popping up so i'll put it down in the description yeah. on this one so if you guys um you guys have been begging us to get a peel box and we took our time um we we weren't going to get it and i'll say this um it's a good drive from here um we it's not anywhere close so um yeah, so if you guys want to send us some letters or anything like that, we would love to read them. And if they're hate mail, we will burn them and keep warm. So either way, come, um, see, come see Clay. And uh, <laughs> if, yeah, if you guys know that commercial. But um, anyways, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully, weather cooperates. And uh, peace.